Um, okay, we gotta bring our man, our main dude. And I think, actually, you know what? I like all of our caber jacks, so I think I'm only going to investigate the alchemists here. Um, so we have Helena Flugermines, who has the relic. That would be okay. Um, Curies. She has the other one, doesn't she? She has the powerful relic. I think I'm going to bring Karies, and she is going to. Um, she's going to be the damage. She's going to have the damage one in case. Oh, can't do that. I'm going to give her the advanced armor because it's awesome. Yeah, see here, it did do the um, it did do the little thing in the bottom. I wonder if I gave that other character the wrong. Uh, if you do just the regular refined armor, I bet it doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we've got that going. Excellent. Uh, I can't equip the Fluger Mines uh, accessories for lore reasons. <laughs> it's just part of the playthrough. Let's see. And now, let's replace good old Greg Burnhelm. I think that there's a younger Burnhelm. I'd like to keep one of them in. I think Max? Max looks good. Let's do Max. I'm down with Max. And now I'm really ex Wait, what? Didn't I finish the pillar picture, or is it not quite done yet? Oh, it must not be quite done yet. That's too bad. I'm not that tired. How disappointing. That makes me so sad. Uh, let's go there. And let's go... Fertilizer? I like fertilizer. I tried the Perilous Core, but really it's the damage, I think, is, is it's, it's like one extra flask, and I don't think that it's necessarily, um, it's just not really that, I think the damage is a little bit too low. So, let's do this. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be my first time I get to use the Kill Rage um, this game. May the horns of battle carry you to the... <gasps> and this actually might be... Uh, this might get ridiculous. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. Okay, so here's Jeff Crocodilus. He can't actually move to start with, but that's fine. Um, oh hey, <laughs> Kariz is uh, or Kar Kari East is um, is actually uh, she's drunk. That's exciting. Let me double check. And drunk. <laughs> Shoot, that's funny. Hmm. Let me move you out. Let's just see if I can... Oh. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, I can't quite make it. No, it's too bad. Okay, I'll just have to do what I can here. I was hoping that I could get in there and kill basically all of those guys. Oh, man. This is why Kill Rage is amazing. And so now... This guy, he should get his extra move back. Let's see here. And now I'm going to do... Oh, only 70, really. That's too bad. I think... Um, I'm going to go here, I think. This sh Most likely this will kill both of them, but I'm not sure. Yep. Oh, they did not change that. That was... Um, it looks like they that is still a thing. Because before, it would only give you one movement back, and I think I just got two movement points back on this guy from that one hit. Uh, let's see, enemy spotted. I did. <laughs> so broken. Love it. Uh, actually, is it giving me a penalty to my accuracy, though? Oh, guys, don't be that guy. R kill rage accuracy minus 40 losing accuracy for each kill oh it's so sad um hmm. that's too bad that's new that must have been a, a change that they've added i mean honestly my kill rage is still really really good it's just not quite as ridiculously broken now okay so whoops no that's not what i want i'm gonna do a, a charge here so that'll knock three of these guys out for next turn, which is fine. 
And now I think if I go, oh no. So if I remember correctly, the charge will do damage to your teammates, but the um, the knockback does not. So like if I do a knockback, I might, wait, I already tried this though, didn't I? Renzer does have the, he has the stand ground, so I can't do it on him, shoot. Hmm. I mean, at that point you might as well just take a hit. Let's see here. I'm going to Alchemist up a little bit, and let's try a free throw. Well, he ended up missing, but that's, uh, that's fine. And then let's do this other guy. Let's do that one. <sighs> nice and easy. <laughs> nice path fighting there. Uh, let's see here. Mm, it's not bad. I think, yeah, I guess just try to take a shot at this guy and try to kill him. But fly the hammers. Oh. Um, nope, can't do anything there. But I will scoot over to here. And that allows me to uh, check out what's going on here. Hmm. He would not do anything useful there. My other option is... Hmm. Now, the other thing you can do is you can charge, and if you charge, you get like the guaranteed damage, but then bad things might happen after that. You know what? No, let's just let's go for the kill. Uh, yes. Calm down. You're going to tip us over. And the best thing about this is, oh, uh, I can now retreat. <laughs> uh, that's stupid. It's not worth it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a hit at this guy. <gasps> oh my gosh, kill rage is ridiculous. I love it. I'm gonna charge back. Whew. That was crazy. Okay, Renzor, this is your moment, your chance to shine. Don't screw it up. Now tell me that wasn't yeah. fun. So we have our ultimate warrior, level 10. Kill rage. Unlocked. Love it. Super exciting. Um, hmm. So this is one of the few times where I actually really like free throw, because what you can do is you can do something like this where you run up and then you throw flasks and then you can decide either to throw again or to retreat. It's like here I've done I've done some damage, which is fine. Um, I think I'll just try another flask because it's a 100% shot. Interesting decision. Uh, I'm going to do a knockback on this. Whoa, what? I wonder if that's a bug. Because he still has that minus 60% accuracy from Kill Rage, even though that happened last turn. That's kind of interesting. Still got him, but. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if that just keeps stacking on. Oh, there's a Bulwark right there, too. That's a problem. I'm going to. I'm gonna fall back actually a little bit. Let's go there. Hmm. I just poke. Okay, we've got uh, a bunch of uh, ruptures and a bulwark there. That's not a problem though. Okay. Like it? I like it. 
Let's move up to here. So there, yeah, there are two ruptures and a bulwark here, as well as up here there's um, one seed and a bulwark. Which is a little bit of a problem, but nothing we can't handle. Does he still have an accuracy penalty? He does. <laughs> I feel like that might be a bug. I'm not 100% sure though. I'm going to sneak down this way though with my guys because I want to... Um, I, want to I want to fight off these other guys first. And then I'll shift up and kill that last remaining bulwark. Nope, can't do a charge. Let's do a prime target on him then. Reduces accuracy. Now I'm going to shift Max Burnhelm up, and he is going to do a Fertilizer Flask right in this nice little spot right here, I think. And so this will increase the... I'm going to move my troops up through this little choke point here, and that's where, I will, um, that's where I'm going to hang out for the next turn. So that way, hopefully, the, uh, this other guy won't... the Bulwark won't kill me, which would be sad. He's got nothing on my my prime target while I'm in the brush. I wonder what the chance of that hit sh shot hitting is actually. He must be pretty low. Right. Oops. So I'm going to move. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I love this uh, pathfinding here because <laughs> when your guy's drunk, it does uh, they do interesting things. You get a nice sine wave going. Whee! Okay, fair enough. Let's see. Um. Pontic, Ponchik, uh, let's have you, let's have you start in this advanced bulwark, actually, I think, I, oh hey, there's another one. There are two more, in fact, whoa, there are three more, in fact, whoa, I just stepped into a um, interesting situation, let's do, let's do this, I'm going to do a knockback on these guys. Was awesome. I like that a lot. Okay, so now I think my next target is this bulwark here. Let me think about this for a second. So, yeah, I want this bulwark here. Um, and before I do anything else, Crocodilus, you can't get up there. You do have your charge available though, so I'm going to move you here. And then um, I'm going to do a four and do a charge into the seed. That'll knock him out of the next round, which is good. And so now really my only concern are... There's one more bulwark in that corner, which I don't think that I can do anything about. Um, actually... Let's try this. I don't think that this is going to do much, but... Oh, that was bad. It... Oh, it did stun him, though, I think. I think? I think it stunned him? I can't tell. Hmm. That's not worth it. There's a better chance that it blows up one of my guys and it hits that other one. So... Not a problem. <sighs> no! Fury? No fury. Okay. <sighs> okay. This is a tough one. Um, I'm a little bit concerned because I don't know. Hmm. Excuse me, I'm all burpy today. I'm gonna do a free throw on it. These guys here. Yes. 
that's not bad. It's not bad. And then I'm gonna do a um I wanna get rid of this first uh this first rupture here. Oh, am I standing in the goo? That's a little sad. So I do have a chance to knock back this other uh, this other bulwark, but I don't know that I need it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run you into the forest here. Okay, so now we have the the age old problem of what to do when you have four targets and two guys. I think the most important thing is to kill this guy and hopefully s this should kill both of them. I think. Oh, it's good. Kill range. Oh, you know what? I should check that other guy to see if that... Oh, six? Yikes. I didn't realize it was so much. I'm gonna go ahead and do a... Just a standard attack. I wanna go here. I do that. Oh, oh. That RNG, man. That RNG. Hmm. I don't want to do that from here. Please work. Okay. Excellent. Oh no, I chose the wrong tile. I should have done this one. No! This guy's gonna get exploded on. Not Renzor. Oh hey, we got a new, uh, that's cool, we got a new nickname. So we have Ponchik Gristle Mercury. He looks like someone who's into gristle, so yeah, sure, I'm down. Um, I guess I could. No, uh, I can't. Hmm. No, let's just let's just do a regular. Um, I can't change my attack direction either. That's a bit of a bummer. <sighs> Oh dear. <laughs> That's bad. It's okay. Um, eek. Maybe over here. So yeah, this guy's gonna get exploded on because he missed his attack. 10 damage, yikes. Oh, so sad. That actually works out for me okay though. And oh hey, there's this other guy. See, I've been standing in the uh, poison for the last seven turns, looks like. That's pretty funny. Okay, Jeffrey Crocodiles. Go forth and... Um, okay, maybe not. Okay, let's go up. Hmm. Well, could throw fertilizer. That's an option. The other option is to just do a standard knock back on this guy and knock him back into the tree and hopefully get a stun. This is pretty... There we go. That'll stun him for this turn, which is fine. And now you can go up to there. That looks fine. Whew. Let's see. Wait, who is this? Oh. Our drunkard. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that perfect? Oh, they're in line. You guys, are, you guys are just making my day here, aren't you? Now tell me that wasn't fun. I didn't do much damage and didn't kill the second guy, but he should be stunned the next turn, which is good. Although he'll have his shell defense up. But that gives us another turn to get all the way over there. So. He looks pretty stunned. Can I inspect him? He's yeah, he's losing a turn to recover. Excellent. Um, because of that, I'm gonna just shift my guy up a little bit, my caber jack here. And now I think I kind of just want to make sure that there's no one else. Yeah, it would just be one damage, and that's not. It's better for me to know if there's another one of these bulwarks in there than to do one damage. So that's the way I like to think about it. Uh, who are we? Renzor? Where are you? Uh, 
mounts to here. This is why I take charge. Um, sure. Yes, I love it. Okay, and now, does anyone not have level 10? It's a caber jack, or that so Max could use a kill, or um, Karais could use a kill here. Uh, Mercury's level 10. Yeah, we're all level 10 everywhere, so that's fine. Let's see here. What are the chances that we can actually kill this guy this turn? Basically zero, but let's do a regular throw here. And we'll just stun him. Go to the shell defense, and now I have. Um, I think I don't. You know, I don't think I even have to do the knockback. I think I. Whoops. I think I can just do the regular attack into the wall here. I mean, provided I don't get cleansing blows. That is. Uh, let's do. It. Let's do this. There we go. So he should be stunned again because he hit the wall. Yep. That would be pretty sweet if they like flew off the map, but that could also be really bad because it would affect your characters too. And I'm just going to end my turn because I don't think I have anything else really to do. So maybe, maybe hustle this guy over a little bit. Not a problem. Okay, so now we need um, Karais. You can do 20 damage. That should be plenty. I just want to step my dudes away. Okay, that's fine. I wish there wasn't that extra like lag time when people get the fortified. It's a little bit annoying. So should do fine. Yes, excellent. I think I'm pretty sure that's a uh, massive victory. Yeah. Okay, okay. Since you and your heroes did so well here, I'll try and make sure their ride home is more pleasant and less vomit-inducing. They've earned it. Whew. So Jeffrey got eight kills. Yeah, we had 23 kills in nine turns. That's pretty good. Eight of those being on Jeffrey Crocodilus with that amazing opening round of just kill, uh, kill rage, kill rage, kill rage. Yeah, we got Red Zord. Oh, excuse me, we got Red Zord to level 10. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Ah. And now we have additional corruption up here, but we lost one here. Is that correct? Ah, so, okay, one, two, 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 okay. So things aren't looking super amazing in the kingdom, but it's good that I only have one um, keep that has the two ticks, because I think that the key, at this point the keeps are much more important than the standards. Um, not that the standards don't help a lot, but uh, Greg Burnhelm has died of natural causes at 68. Again, not that the standards don't help a lot, but once you start getting level 10 heroes, I feel like they're less necessary. I'm going to go ahead and give this to Max. Dawn. I like it. Let's use it. Oh, six. Okay. The pillar pictures are finished. Time to embrace your inner architect. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, I want this. I don't know if it's a good, but it sounds like fun. The Time Fist. A caber in the right hands can already induce hour-long blackouts, but what if it can knock enemies into next week or later with some harvest of Twitter arms? Oh, excuse me. This uh, nightmare could become a reality. Hmm. So we need more Twitchers. And Skipping Stone. See, I need a lot of Twitcher kills, it looks like. Okay. Hmm. So, I think... Um, I don't really want any of the, those guys. Armor. I could do the bone chill armor. It's not. It, it has a lot less protection, but it has. It's good if your hero does something crazy and they're out in the middle of nowhere and have multiple enemies attacking them. Hmm. Uh, the health files are good. Uh, I just I haven't been using them very much this this game. Although it wouldn't be a bad thing to research. The other option. I know the wonder pants are supposed to be pretty good. Especially to protect, especially to protect these recluse. Oh, sorry guys, I just turned my heater on. 
it's finally warming up. So I'm in Colorado and it was like nine degrees last night or something because of this crazy storm we're having. And so, uh, ooh, experience scarf. Mm. I don't know that that's really useful to me now because everyone's high level. I think I might go with the haste hooch. I'll try that out. I'll take, I might get it before the next battle. Maybe not. Let us advance the epic timeline. Let us see what we get. <sighs> Nothing, really, for several years. Oh no! Craven Crocodilus, regent of Crocodilopolis, has died of natural causes at 58. So let's see, who do we have as options? Jeffrey Crocodilus, who's clumsy, impressionable. Reckless, a reveler, but might of the walrus. That's pretty solid. Uh, Siobhan, Crocodilus, brainy, impressionable, optimistic, and reveler. That's that's all right. Uh, we have Clock, Crocodilus, who's quick, kingmaker, nimble, might of the walrus, and reveler. That's that's not too shabby as a regent. And wild, the wild Crocodilopolis, the croc croc uh, crocod Crocodilus. Excuse me. It's pretty good. I like that. It's pretty sweet. So they're all pretty high fertility now, which is good. Um, I think the wild. Cube. Rainy. Clock. I'm going to do um, clock crocodile or croc crocodilus. Clock crocodilus. Mostly so I hopefully don't have to say his name anymore. <laughs> um, let's do confirm. I like that. And now as far as Regent goes, we've got a lot of Withers, which is good. And I think that's about it, actually. And then I guess Caris, Flugermines. Would be not a terrible match. Ursulae Withers? Hmm. Hmm, that's pretty solid. Ursula is a good choice. A little bit young, let's say uh, Elizabeth Withers. Elizabeth Withers wouldn't be bad either. Or Pamela Withers. Or Renee. Okay. Or Sylvie. I love how these Withers finally got the, the, uh, the Might of the Walrus. It's amazing. I think I want the younger of these people. Pack Hunter, Cocky, it's not quite as good. It wasn't one of them Wily, was it Ursula? Wily, Might of the Walrus, Reveler. I like that. Let's do let's do um let's do Ursula Withers. Yes. They will have a bunch of amazing little crocodiles swimming around their marshy area soon. And as soon as Jess Mercury dies, then that's when, uh, that's when we know stuff gets real. Siobhan. I always thought the spelling of that name was a little bit peculiar. <gasps> Here it is. Jess Mercury, Regent of Argent Falls, has died of natural causes at 69. Renzor. Oh no, he's a little bit older now, though. We have... Other options are Rory, who's pretty poor, or Ponchik, who's a tiny bit older, oh, but he's also quick in Kingmaker. Those are all excellent. Ooh, this is a tough one. So do I want to retire Gristle, who's, who would potentially give the children also quick in Bear Maker, or Bear, well, not Kingmaker in Bear Strength, or Renzor, who would be, who would have a lot of kids, and they'd be Bear Strength and Might of the Walrus. I'm going to have to go with uh, Renzor, I think. Renzor? Hmm. Or Gristle. Gristle's so good. <laughs> uh, the Kingmaker is a little bit annoying, um, particularly because I have so many dudes already. But Quick is really, really good. Ugh. 
I'm gonna go with Renzer. This, this, he was, he was born for this. He was uh, bred for this. He will, in fact, become Mercury incarnate. Okay, so now the question is, to whom is he married? So our options are Karais, Fluger Mines. Uh, they would have a ridiculous number of children because they're both bountiful, which would be okay. Um, Deborah Stone. Who's... that would be... that's an okay match. Siobhan Crocodilus. Brainy Impressionable. That's not really a good match, I don't think, because she should be married into a, uh, an alchemist house. Uh, oh no, that's so sad. Arisia Flugermines, who's very old, unfortunately. Although it still says that they'd have there's a super high chance they'd have kids. I don't know how that works, but um, Hardy, Quick Study, Longevity, Raiden, Crimson Dawn, and that nervous. That nervous could be bad. I think I would rather choose someone. Let me do um. I'm going to do uh, Assyria, even though she'll probably only live a few years. I think that um, that'll be fine. Flow like water, hit like steel. Okay, let's do this. Whew. She'll probably be dead before anything useful happens, but maybe someone else will come of age. Oh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. I just remember, speaking of coming of age, we have Rita Flugermines, who needs a partner. I totally forgot about her. So her options are the Wild Crocodilus. That's actually quite, that's a solid match, I think, there. Or Rory, who's not a solid match. Rohan Winters? No. Jeffrey Crocodilus? No, I don't think so. Max Bernhelm. Max was okay. Lock Sing, uh, Senchir? Mm -mm. Matthew Mercury? Quick heart disease, though. So the Flugermines, they want to marry someone that's very strong. I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, what's it? Wild? I'm going to do Wild Crocodilus. I think this is a good match here. There we go. They're both quite young, and so they should have a lot of kids, and he's brainy, so there's a chance in that he'll uh, do something useful. But let's see here. Uh, let's go forward. Wait, wasn't there someone else that I needed to marry? Hang on. Was it Burnhelms? Yep. Denari Burnhelm. Okay. Man, you're in just all kinds of trouble. Ugh. Puny Sinclair. That's a pretty impressive. That's some pretty impressive facial hair, though. Or Sanchir, or Sanchir, excuse me. Or Jeffrey Crocodilus. He's okay. Lock San Sanchir. Hmm. I'm gonna do Lock. Lock. He's not particularly great, but marry him in there. If they don't have babies, then it's my, my problem. Oh, hey, the baby. I missed that one. Let's just check real quick. Corey. Wow, that is awesome. Look at the look at the withers. They've just had, what is that, 11 children? Wow. Love it. Yay, babies. 220. Make it our way to year 300. I don't think I'm going to get there. It'll be a few more days, I think, before I can get there, but that's okay. Oh no. Erisia, Fluger Mines, partner of Regent Renzer Mercury, has died. That's okay. I pretty much figured that that's what would happen. Uh, I'm. Ooh. The e oh, we have a new relic, though. That's kind of exciting. I'm going to give it to Helena. I think she's the one that's infertile, so she's likely to be a, a standard at some point, actually. Um, Retta? Let's go to Reddit instead. She's about to die too. 